How's it going everyone? Shifty here and in today's video I want to show you how to solo the first Deepstone Crypt raid chest the legit way. Now maybe you're visiting the monument to lost lights in the tower trying to figure out what exotic you want to get. You want to try and get anarchy because it's a weapon that people are always talking about. However, since anarchy is a previous raid exotic, it requires spoils of conquest. For the most part, spoils of conquest come from completing the last wish, garden of salvation or Deepstone Crypt raid. Of those three raids, the Deepstone Crypt offers spoils of conquest from the two secret chests. That means if you're a solo player who doesn't raid much, you can get spoils of conquest from those chests. In the past, there has been things like the frostbite glitch that have made getting the first chest extremely easy, and there have been out of bounds exploits to get to the second chest. In this video, I'm not going to cover the out of bounds for the second chest, there are still ways to get it on certain classes. But every time I seem to cover that second chest, Bungie seems to love patching it within a week or two. So I'm going to focus on showing you the first chest and doing it the legit way. I imagine this will continue to be available for solo players, so just keep that in mind that you can always get up to 30 spoils of conquest each week. In order to get all 30, you'll need to do this on a warlock, hunter, or titan. You'll get 10 spoils of conquest from the chest. If you have done the raid in the past, you will get some gear from the chest you'll get a piece of something that you've already earned by doing the raid. But before I get into it, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, since I'm doing this the legit way, I need some weapons to take out several enemies and some void shielded captains. I just went with the extraordinary rendition submachine gun because that's one of my favorite weapons right now. Then I have Telesto and the falling guillotine sword. Whenever you're ready, head over to Europa and load up the Deepstone Crypt raid. All right, once you load in, you're going to want to drop off. The birthplace of the Exo, and a prison for something sinister. The followers intend to make use of it to unleash a... There's going to be several enemies you need to take out, so you can just stick back and take them out as you need to. Remember, there is no time limit on this, so you can take it as slow as you need to. Once you've cleared out all the enemies in the room, this little hatch in the corner will open. You can hop on your sparrow to make it go a little bit faster. Once you hit the desolation area, there's going to be this large dome that protects you from the cold. When you go outside of it, you'll start getting stacks of frostbite in the left hand corner. If you get to 10 stacks of frostbite, you will end up dying. So the goal of this is to get from bubble to bubble without dying. Alright, so here's the door. When you come out the door into the bubble, turn left, and we're going to shoot this way. Try to avoid the mines like that. So when you're ready to go from this bubble, we came in over here. We're going to turn right. I aim just to the left of that rock right there. Go to the right of this rock and then shoot left to avoid the mines, of course. So here's going to be our first bubble where there's going to be enemies. Now once you're comfortable with the route, you can start skipping the enemies. You just kind of have to hide and then quickly get on your sparrow and shoot out the direction you need to go. So 
So one trick to keep in mind, there's these lanterns. They're going to kind of help direct you where you need to go. So if you ever need to, just follow the lanterns. You can see some off to the left here. And then you're going to want to aim for this large tower. You're going to have to fight off some more enemies at this bubble. Okay, when all the enemies are cleared out of this one, you see this tower here, there's this little gap. Get on your sparrow and be prepared to shoot out this gap. I aim to the right a little bit because there's a mine I want to try to avoid. And you have to jump a couple gaps. And then on this last rock, shoot to the left, and down to this bubble. From here, we're going to go back out the same way we came, but we're going to hug the left. You can see the like lanterns out there in the distance. As soon as we get up here, turn to the right. And you see that tower right there? Just between these rocks, you can get into another bubble. Alright, so we have this massive rock here, and then just to the right of it, in the distance, you can see some of the lanterns. So get on your sparrow, and be ready to head that way. Hug the left side of this wall here, so you can avoid that mine, which I just drove right into. The right here. Then there's going to be some brigs that spawn. Try to avoid them if you have a sword. Sword your way in there. Try to hide. I don't end up usually fighting these enemies. I usually hide for a little bit to try and heal. And then when I'm ready, the door is behind me here. If you face the other way, we're going to head to the left over there. So when you're ready, head out that way. Up on this little platform. Keep going, and you have your first chest. And there we have it. You'll get 10 spoils of conquest from that chest on each class each week for a total of 30 per week. Again, if you've done the raid, you'll also get a piece of raid gear. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.